Sieving has got to be one of the worst things. So much adrenaline pumping through my veins, I tell ya. Why do the blueberries just make everything look so flipping cute? Get a little bit of oil on there. It's all about the oil, you know. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys. We were open for business. Hi everybody, welcome back to a brand spanking new video. I am so excited for today's video because this video is sponsored by one of my all time favorite brands that I've spoken about so much on this channel. I've told you guys a thousand and one times about how cool this flipping brand is and they're working with me. So thank you you guys for making this possible. This is literally a dream. So this video is sponsored by Not On The High Street, which is an incredible brand where they have basically like 5,000, I think it is, UK's small creative independent stores in one place. And they have so many cool things. If you're ever looking for a gift, 100% you'll be able to find it on Not On The High Street for someone. There is something for everyone on there. They have food, they have homewares, they have jewelry, they have literally everything you can ever possibly dream of. But really cool, kind of like bespoke, you can make things personalized. And they're running a really cool campaign at the moment. And obviously with lockdown kind of easing and things kind of going back to normal, they want to encourage you to find the sense of you again and get find the wind beneath your wings, if you will. And for me, Obviously, you all know that I love baking and it makes me really happy and something that I miss doing is baking for all of my friends and family far and wide. What I'm going to be doing today is turning my house into a bakery and have my friends and family come by and pick up the goods just to show how much I love them and they've helped me so much during lockdown with things like FaceTimes and all that sort of jazz. So I want to show my love back and I love doing that by baking. And Not On The High Street have some really cool bits that I'm going to do a quick little haul right now of a few of the bits that they sent over for me to kind of include in my little bakery. This is a kind mama vegan bakery. Have you ever seen something more enticing? And we've had another delivery, which is this from Kate Charlton Ceramics, which is so gorgeous. This is it, look how cute this is. It's a little floral cake slice. So you just go, whoop, anyone want some cake? That's lovely and you can get this bit along here, I think it is. Uh, personalized. Another gorgy porgy package. This person had the nicest things and there were so many that I had to restrain. How cool is that? It's like a little pipe with a little stripey stripe on it. This is such a slice of me. A bit of blue moment. Sorry, but can we take a moment for this gorgeous packaging? Look, I think this is homemade wrapping paper. Look at this platter. <laughs> It is so flipping gorgeous. Rose Nisbet, and she makes these, um, and it's even got 22 karat gold. Look at this, it is so flipping gorgeous, and you can get it personalized as well. And now, we can get started with the baking. I'm actually gonna plan right now what we're gonna cook. We definitely need some sort of bread, because what's a bakery without bread? What else, we've got cake, we've got bread, we've got the donuts, we've got the brownie, we've got chocolate, brownie. Whenever you have a bakery, there needs to be a chocolate or a fruit option because I feel like people either go either way. Okay guys, I've got my list of things that I'm going to do um, and I need to have a look in my white chocolate and raspberry macaron. Macaron? I always forget. One's the French coconutty ones and one's these, right? I am nervous to make these because I feel like they could go a bit left field. I actually used one of these at Christmas in my vlogmas and they had these little polar bear shaved buns. They were so flipping cute. I'm going to insert a picture of them. They were so cute. Right guys, we're back from the old shops and we're ready to make some raspberry Italo Italian macarons. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified of macarons. I've made them once in my life and at uni, the other gals were fantastic in making them. So I just left them to it. I was like, I'm not gonna touch those because they look intimidating and they all smash it out of the park. And I just, was, I just left it to it. I thought I'm not gonna do that. So um, today's the day, we're facing our fears, we're jumping out into the extraordinary, and extraordinary, extraordinary, I really struggle to pronounce words sometimes, I apologize. Um, and we're gonna get going making these. Now, the first thing it says to make the fillings. sugar mixture which will boil in a minute and I just like degreased um, my mixing bowl and my whisk and first we're gonna make the almond paste blitz together our almond 
and icing sugar in a little food processor. 25 grams of egg whites in here. And then we're just gonna sieve this little mixture into um, the egg white mixture. Sieving has got to be one of the worst things. Guys, there's no leftover lumps. What does that mean? Then what we do very simply is we just wanna mix it together to form a paste. Right, we have our almond paste right here. We'll make the sugar mixture. I hate dealing with hot sugar because I just am the most accent prone person I know. It's all happening here. It, I mean, if you want a bit of adrenaline and you're not a thrill seeker, this will be it, dealing with hot sugar. Once we get to 115, we then have to put our egg whites on to get frothy. Right guys, guys, it's reached 118, removed from the heat and quickly pour into the... So much of pumping through my veins, I tell ya. Okay guys, it looks like it's going well. It's looking nice in there. I'm hoping that this meringue mixture is diddly done. And now we fold it in to our almond mixture. Okay, I think this is done. I had to have a lot of patience there. But I think that's done. And now we just pipe it onto a greaseproof paper. So we filled our piping bag and we are just gonna do our little poops. I'm just piping, don't mind me. Here are my little babies, and now we get to do the fun thing. I feel like they don't quite look as aesthetically pleasing as I hoped, but it's okay. Then you just wanna bang it on the work surface to get rid of any air bubbles, so. And now we preheat the oven. So I'm just gonna pop the oven on. guys the lemon raspberry little macaroon bites are done and now we're on to item number two which is a little blueberry clotty cream cake which i feel like quite confident in i'm not gonna lie um so i'm just gonna whip that together i've never made it before but it is a bbc good food recipe i feel like i trust the old bbc good food when it's got reviews and this has six reviews with five stars. So we've got big hope because apparently there's a double rainbow. Yeah, right one under the other. It almost looks like one. It does, doesn't it? It almost looks like a triple rainbow. Like oh my gosh, it is a triple over there, I swear. You can't see on the camera. Dag, numb it. And I actually always remember Mary Berry saying she once did a cake competition on like Good Morning Britain and she did it against James Martin. Who's the guy with the, the farm? Hugh Fernley Whittle. Yeah, Whittle. Hugh Fernley Whittle and someone else. And they like had to make a Victoria sandwich. And she said the best way to make a Victoria sandwich is the all-in-one method and hers won. And everyone was giving all the others like, well, I put this and I put this in. But apparently all-in-one is the most Reliable. I'm trying to, I always wonder what the most popular thing is at a bakery and I do tend to ask whenever I go to bakeries because everyone has such different taste buds. You're never going to please everyone. Why do the blueberries just make everything look so flipping cute? I just want to, they just look so cute and pretty. Right guys, we're quick moving here. We're thinking on our feet. We've just put the blue cake in the oven and we don't stop here. No, no, no. If we're in a bakery, we're going to go, go, go. I had this habit of finding a recipe and not quite liking one element of it and then choosing another or altering it slightly. And I never am consistent with the recipes I choose, apart from a lot of Jane's Patisserie's ones. Maybe I should use, probably should use her cinnamon roll recipe, I've never tried that. Now the other day I was at my friend's and they have chickens. And I cannot stress enough how much I now want chickens and they gave us a lot of their eggs. So all of these are made with local eggs which is really like that's fun we just mix that all together and i'm gonna have my lunch whilst that mixes what have i got for dinner i hear you say my mom's made this little salmon cooked poke bowl which i'm really excited about and i haven't even shown you that this this is one of the tea towels i got from not on the high street from a company called whoa there pickle i love it it's nice to be important but more important to be nice and i almost don't want to use it i'm like can i frame this but i'm actually going to tuck it into here because i keep just ruining my clothes with oil i keep getting oil spills all over my like jumpers and stuff so this is the only solution that i've got so far i'm just such a messy pup okay mm. that's exhibit a of why i get oil on my clothes because i just used it to clean my hands i'm not on the high street you can actually heart things and create little like boards of things you want so if you want to get started thinking about things for christmas gifts you can make a christmas board 
or you can make like dream house board or you can make father's day board do you know what i mean really fun anyway just thought i'd let you know that we have encountered an issue so i was just going to make the clotted cream filling for our blueberry clotted cream cake and the recipe says beat the butter and sugar but there's no butter so i'm going to assume that means clotted cream now we're going to use our clotted cream to make a fun little icing which i actually think is a really nice idea i'm just going to beat that together with the icing sugar and hopefully we've got ourselves a nice little icing moment wow she is fruity okay so we are going to assemble our little blueberry guy um i'm starting off by adding a bit of Bon on while blueberry can serve. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of the old clotted cream business. Plop! Right, here is our, it, it was called on the page, Spotty Blueberry and Clotted Cream Cake. And I feel like that would be such a cute name in a bakery. And I'm gonna put it on this Harley Brown ceramic plate, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, because I feel like the blues go quite nicely. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice with a little bit of blue running through. That literally fits perfectly we're gonna do a recipe that is possibly if you ever do any of the recipes i talk about you have to try this one this is the easiest recipe you can ever do and the yummiest it's an easy overnight focaccia bread and honestly it is fantastic so literally what you do 512 grams of flour so that's going in there 10 grams of salt eight grams and then we get some lukewarm water. Add 455 grams lukewarm water. And then you just mix that all together. So this is what your dough should look like, a little bit shaggy and not fully combined. You literally just wanna mix it until everything's gone. I'm gonna drizzle lightly on the top with a little bit of olive oil, kind of spread that all over. Simply take a damp tea towel, you pop that on over the bowl, and you refrigerate for 12 hours. All right, so I've just done the cinnamon rolls. I've popped those in the fridge because I'm gonna cook them in the morning. We've got the, I just made the icing as well. So I'm gonna make my plan for the morning because that's where it could all go a little bit peaked on. I need... Oh no. There's a bit of black ink on the end of my rubber and it's gone all over my jumper. Should have had my lovely tea towel on. Right, our time plan is all done. So I will see you in the morning. It's currently 8.15. So it's all about prepping. Right guys, <coughs> it's 7 a.m. And I'm just getting all the bits out, ready. There's some cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls, oh yeah. <laughs> they won't be ready in time. Oh, no. no, but I'll bring you one, I'll bring you one. Okay, so our focaccia is nice and risen. Get a little bit of oil on there. It's all about the oil, you know. Then you get some forks. Actually, I like to do it with my hands, so I'm just gonna do it with my hands. Um, you go in underneath and you bring it up like that. And oh, bring look at those lovely strands. And then you rotate the bowl and then you do it again. Get that. that elasticate, elasticity in there. And that's what you do until it's all nice. We break it into two. Do you see now it's getting much smoother? I'm ready to let it prove for two to three hours. Guys, it's cinnamon roll time. We're putting them in the oven. This is what they look like. Here we go. Okay guys, it's time to set up our little bakery. I'm gonna take all the bits that I've been sent um, from Nottingham High Street. I'm gonna set up a little bakery stand. Um, and then we can start taking orders from friends and family and make little boxes for them. Little um, linen bread bath, bread bag. Um, how gorgeous is this? Because we always have the problem of what do we do with our fresh bread? And normally we just put it in a carrier bag, but this solves a multitude of sins. It's for your time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this super seed topper which is basically like everything but the bagel seasoning from the corner she salt company i think that'll be really nice and what we're going to do is we're going to oil all over i 
into the oven. Right guys, the focaccia is in the oven and we're gonna lay the table. I've put a white tablecloth down because I really want each piece to kind of speak for itself, if you will. So I'm gonna start laying everything out. I wish I had some bunting that said Grax snacks. I think we're gonna go with Grax snacks for the name, all right? Just, I love, literally love all this stuff. Look at this. Is this not a slice of me, if ever I saw it? I'm probably gonna put the focaccias in there with a bit of like grease proof, make it look a bit rustic. We've got this gorgeous plate, which I feel like, oh, what should go on this one? This little newspaper bowl for any tips. No, I'm joking. Um, what should I actually, did not think it through. The dotty lemon blueberry cake would have actually been perfect on this one because of the spots, don't you think? Why didn't I think that through? That was a bit silly. Okay, we've got our cinnamon rolls and I've popped the cream cheese frosting on there. Look how flipping cute these little macarons are. They're gonna go in this bowl. I've given some stuff in there so they don't just look lonely. I'm gonna put the white chocolate um, donuts on here. I'm just kind of like positioning and then I've got the actual star of the show. These hazelnut brownies. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Okay guys, I think this is actually the finished product. Obviously minus focaccia. You don't need to tell me twice. I know they're stunning. I know. We are nearly open for business. I'm just gonna uh, open everything up. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys. We're open for business. Yeah. It's actually a real shame because I was planning on having my friends and family come over, but people are working. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make the little tubs as I already have started to prepare. And I'm gonna do deliveries. I'm gonna do drop-offs. Um, like a little lockdown bakery drop-off. I'm sorry, but how cute does this look? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So we've got the donuts here, which look beautiful. A little white chocolate raspberry macarons. This cake, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. I think it's because it reminds me of like a proper cake that you'd see in like a village farm fair or something. We've got a brownie, the cinnamon rolls, and the focaccia. So I'm gonna work out which friends are getting what. I do think I need a little piece of brownie, because to be honest, I've slaved away and I deserve a treat, you know? Oh yeah. Oh. He has loads of different flavours on there and it's vegan. Made sure that I had a vegan thing. I'm so happy that focaccia literally fits perfectly in this little tub. Guys, we're starting the drop off. I have all my bits and bobs down there. I'm gonna go and take them to our first customers. Hello everybody, it's the next morning after our baking adventures. I'm just having a lie in because it was a long day, do you know what I mean? But everything went down an absolute storm. Everyone loved it. Wanna say a massive thank you to Not On The High Street for sponsoring this video. I do just wanna give a little, I'd say my fave was probably that gold spotty platter. I love it. Actually, the newspaper bowl as well. The newspaper bowl I think was literally eight pounds and it's made from newspaper. How cool, and they have so many different colors. So take a look at Not On The High Street down below and find your extraordinary this week. I love you all loads, bye.